This is video 5B in our uh, four-way analysis series. The uh, playlist for the uh, all the videos is featured at the website at digital-university.org. Okay, in the uh, previous video we had derived this expression as a four-way expansion um, equation only now we're using the exponential form as to the trigonometric form. What we didn't do in the last video was get an expression for what c sub n is. We defined it as one half a sub n minus i times b sub n. So let's do this. c sub n that will be equal to one half. Now Remember the formula for a sub n, it is 2 over t, t is the period, times the integral from 0 to t of the cosine or f of t times the cosine of n omega t dt and then here we have minus i and this is just written too small isn't it? Uh, let's just start over with more space. Remember this is our definition for c sub n. So Cn that equals one half a n minus i b sub n. So that's going to equal one half and then a sub n that is two divided by the period and then we have the integral 0 to t f of t times the cosine n omega t dt. Then we have minus i times b sub n and b sub n is this integral 2 divided by t with the same limits and then we have f of t times the sine of n omega t dt and let's see these twos will cancel out so this goes away and we have this and remember for the cosines and the sines we can write them like this using our exponential functions and if we do that then and let's do that and put it right into the integral expressions here what we will have is c sub n will equal 1 over t this integral 0 to t f of t times 1 half and then we will have e to the i n omega t minus e to the minus i n omega t dt. Then we have this integral over here where we're going to have minus i over t
the enter goes 0 to t. Well, let's write it over here and have more space. So we'll have minus i over t, the enter goes 0 to t. f of t, and then we're going to have, now, this has an i in the denominator. If we put it up in the numerator, that will have a minus sign then. So that would give us then minus i over 2 times e to the i n omega t, and this is wrong, this should be plus for the cosine, these are added together. That's a plus sign. For the sine, they are subtracted. dt. So we have it like this. So here, here we have i squared is negative 1. That would make it plus, but then we have this minus sign here, so we're going to have a net minus sign it looks like. Here, i squared is negative 1 times this. That makes this positive. We still have this minus sign out here. So we can eliminate the i's and this minus sign right here. Now, let's see what we have. Here we have f of t e to the i n omega over t. Then here we have minus one half e i n omega t times this. So those two terms are going to cancel because this minus sign right here. Here, for this, we have f of t, one half e to the minus exponent. Here we have f of t, one half. This comes into here. that will make this plus. So what we're going to have from here then is that c sub n that will equal 1 over t, the integral from 0 to t, f of t, well here now we have 1 half plus 1 half, so that will be times e to the minus i n omega t dt. So there is our formula for c sub n. And actually, as you can see, it can take too much work to get that. So remember now that we have f of t, and then in the uh, formula for f of t, we have c sub n. f of t equals this. That's the sum from n equal minus infinity to plus infinity of c sub n. And then we had e to the plus i n omega t. So put them together. And this then is the four-way expansion formula when you want to use the complex form. So the function equals this. Now to determine c sub n, then we have this that we have to integrate. And again, this will become clear in the uh, examples to follow. What we would do is we have uh, a problem with the sawtooth wave type function and another problem where we have like a full 
wave rectifier type function and another problem where we have a square wave type function. And in each case we expand them out and also we have for a sawtooth wave. And in each case we expand these functions using the trigonometric form of the four-way expansion series and the exponential form of the um, four-way expansion series. So join us for those videos and that's where we'll make use of these two formulas. Um, just one other note about um, this omega zero term. And if we're thinking here that remember well, let's just make some room here. Remember, we derived these two formulas starting with this formula, that f of t, this is our starting point, plus this sum of a sub n cosine n omega t plus b sub n sine of n omega t. And of course this is summed over n like this. Well here now we're thinking in terms of angular frequency. And by frequency we mean the number of cycles per time. So if we're thinking of going at an angular frequency here for a certain amount of time, then that would form a certain angle that we can take the sine or cosine of that angle. So the frequency times the time gives us an angle to work with here. Now, when we think of frequency as the number of cycles per time, well, to complete one cycle, to go around one circle, one cycle is two pi radians. Remember, radians don't have a unit, it's just two pi. And the amount of time that it takes to complete that circle at a certain angular frequency, that is the period. That's capital T. So one cycle divided by the amount of time to complete that cycle that's the angular frequency. This. And we will use this quite often in the future videos as well. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, come back, join us for the other videos, and you'll see then, hopefully get a better understanding how these formulas work when we get to apply them to some uh, specific examples.